Hi everyone, it's Lisa again with a craft that you can easily make from home. As a matter of fact, you've probably already got all the supplies that you do need. There is a kit available for this. This is our DIY Mason Jar Bird Feeder. Uh, so there will be a kit available. They are first come, first serve. So if you're interested in those, please stop by curbside and pick one of those up. Um, again, this is a really creative way of making a bird feeder just out of found things that you have at home. So let's discuss some of the things that you will need in order to make this DIY mason jar bird feeder. Um, you're going to need obviously a jar. This one has an embossed image on, on one side of it. The other side it does not. I think the ones that you'll be getting in your kit do not have any embossing at all so that actually makes it a little bit easier to work with. But you are going to need a small jar. You probably already have a pickle jar in your refrigerator that you could easily wash out and use. You don't need the lid so you're good. The other thing that we're going to need is some way of hanging this. Now I chose burlap and here's why. Um, I needed a coconut liner for a hanging basket and I had none. So I did multiple folds of burlap in that hanging basket and it lasted all summer long. As a matter of fact, I could probably still use it again next year in my planter. So burlap is naturally very strong. Now eventually it will wear out, true, uh, but we'll discuss how you could actually take these off and change them out very easily. So I'm going to need something to hang it with. A piece of ribbon, uh, a belt, a leather belt looks wonderful. If you have a piece of leather that can be cut into a strip, that also makes a nice looking bird feeder. But this is burlap. Um, I have twine. There are ways of just wrapping your jar with twine and creating the same effect. I also have leather. You could easily wrap this with leather, leather pieces, leather shoestrings, and so forth, and still create the same effect. I also have ties. I have a lot of ties. I actually craft with ties. Um, here's, here's an example right here. That was my cat. Sorry about that. I'm crafting from home today. Um, if you heard that noise in the background. So this one is actually the smaller part of a large um, tie. And so I just took the smaller part off. But this could actually be used as well. Now how long would this hold up in weather? Fading is going to occur. If this is placed in under a shade tree, that's going to lessen that. But also this would be beautiful and bright hanging from a tree if you had several of these in really brightly colored ties. Also red does attract birds. And then I even have some copper. I've seen some of these as I googled them that used copper uh, wiring to wrap around in various places on their jar uh, to get it to hang and they were beautiful as well. I'm not sure I want to try that one yet. So we're going to stick with the burlap today. I'm also going to need a skewer. The skewer will be in your kit. This is going to become the perch. And I'm using E6000. You could also use a Gorilla Glue or a very strong adhesive. And I'm also using my glue gun. So here's what we're going to do. It's pretty, pretty simple. I'm going to take my skewer and on the non-embossed side, the flat side, I'm going to attach my skewer. I just need a perch. I actually cut some off of this skewer because it was a full length. The one that you're getting in your kit is a shorter skewer. So I'm going to take my E6000 and I'm going to put a strip right down the center. I'm waiting for that to kind of balance out so I know where my center is. And then on top of that I'm going to put my hot glue. And this just reinforces it. If it's going to be outside, the hot glue eventually will get soft. And it, as it softens, it will melt uh, in the hot sun and it will also uh, lose its adhesiveness. So by putting the E6000 on there, even in strong heat, this perch will stay in place. So there's my perch. Actually, there's my perch. 
Now, you could paint these. I did not paint them. I kept it natural because I, I was unsure about the toxicity for um, the um, acrylic or enamel paint, so I just left mine natural. The second thing I'm going to do is I took a big piece of burlap ribbon, the ribbon that came with this, or I put on this one, this chevron pattern I picked up at the Dollar Tree. So one roll of that is going to be well enough for a couple of these. I find my center. I've just creased it there so I'll know where my center is. And again, on either side of my perch, a strip of E6000 and on top of that I want a strip of my hot glue. The hot glue is going to be my temporary hold. The E6000 is going to be my permanent hold. I'm pulling that down making sure it's getting into both of those little glue pockets that I had on there. I kind of like this plain burlap. Now on a couple of other locations, I'm going to put a strip of the E6000. And pull it up. And pull it up. Now right in the middle, I'm trying to estimate where that's going to be, as I'm looking at it, I'm trying to get this, as you'll notice on this one, I pinched that together at the top. I'm trying to get this one the same way, but I want to make sure that I'm using my E6000 and my glue gun. So a strip down the center, and I'm going to use my glue gun here. Be careful, that is hot. And by eyeballing it or just looking at it, I can tell that that is pretty much centered there. The one that I particularly liked online was made from an old leather belt. It was great. It even had, obviously, the end of the belt, the belt loops to help you. Um, even the... Um, uh, it, all parts of that were helpful, let's put it that way. So if you have an old belt, this, that's perfect for this task, for this craft. Okay, so now we've got our tooth, not quite. Let me put one more strip of glue right down the center. I'm trying to get these two pieces completely together. So let me put a little bit more of my glue on there. There we go. Keep that on there for just a minute. You know, this time of the year is perfect for feeding birds, especially in the dead of winter. So once we get our snow on and we see those birds out uh, a little bit more scou uh, scouring for food, then we can put our bird feed out. Okay, so there we go so far. Looks great. At the top of this, I need to make some little loop or something so that I could put my wire through, as I've done on this one, or I could put an S hanger at the very top. This burlap, I could easily feed something through that could hang from. Um, so all I'm doing is just kind of finishing the edge at the top. So again, I'm going to use a little bit. Let me move this out of the way. A little bit of my E6000 right straight across there. A little bit of glue. And then I'm just going to bend this down. 
And because I know that it's super hot, I'm going to use the end of an old skewer to kind of help me hold that down. Actually, it's the end that I broke off of the skewer. And this is finished. How cute and functional. This could be easily decorated. Just be aware that in the weather, it may not stay decorated. Uh, if you have the kids put stickers on it, obviously they're gonna fall off. Um, I think for these and for the actual purpose of feeding the birds, it might be best to keep them simple. Um, if your burlap or your tie or whatever it is that you're actually mounting it with uh, deteriorates over a period of time, the good thing is this is glass. This will peel right off. You can take um, some kind of uh, an instrument to kind of help you pick off any of the extra E6000 or anything that's stuck on there and then you can start fresh with a new ribbon, a new uh, color scheme, whatever you choose. This is a fun, simple, easy craft. Let me do, do show you that. I, uh, for the top of mine, the one that I had previously made, I had taken uh, some of the copper wire here and just made a hanger for it. Um, that's simple. We're going to take some of our wire, cut that, I'm going to slide that through. Hopefully this will go right through there. If you'll recall, we made a little pocket at the top. And I'm going to take my ends and twist and push those down so they're not so... And there you go with the end. Okay, another DIY easy craft that you can make at home. Uh, with the exceptions of the skewer, you probably already got everything that you need. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Feed the birds and keep crafting.